I'm still thinking if I should do this. Any of you asked me about my... About this job that I was doing and asked why I quit. In today's video, I am just going to be honest with you guys. I was serving as a cop two years and a half, like two years and four months. I was a cop in Malaysia, yeah. A police woman. Cop. The police. I was. On the other hand, I also want to show you guys how succeed I am. Keeping my plans alive because it's not easy, but some advices I asked from my friends and also from Rima Lab on how to keep my plans alive. And just there. A life! A life. They're alive! I don't know if I should still do this. I'm still thinking. But I want to do it since a lot of you guys asked. Let's do it. 2015, I joined the law enforcement in Malaysia. I was a policewoman for about two years and four months. And then I quit. I left the profession because this is why I'm doing the video because I want you guys to know why and stop your assumptions immediately because I did not leave because kami bolos. I did not leave because I followed my ex-boyfriend or whatever you guys uh, thought. I did not. I left because I left for betterment. Just for myself. I want to do it publicly, publicly because oh, I'm afraid I will say something wrong. Clearly there, there, there's nothing wrong uh, with BDRM. Listen, listen, listen! <laughs> Sebelum kami join, kami memang tak minat langsung. Kami memang daripada awal kami tak minat. Hari nak lapor diri pun, it was 2017. No, sorry, it was 2015. I felt like it was so heavy. It was like I, I had a weight on my shoulder. Like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Where am I going to? What am I going to do after this? What's going to happen? And just so many thoughts playing in my mind. Um, asal tu rasa banyak perasaan memang berat gila. Berat nak masuk, berat nak... Heck, berat, nah, semua berat. I felt like something was wrong. Maybe because I was too young and I was just following what my heart was saying. Uh, but that's not the case, by the way. Uh, guys, it, it was not easy to turn yourself into a different perspective of how people look at you. I'm talking about 360 degrees different. Like, completely different. It's it's not <laughs> you're going to become someone else, not even yourself anymore. And somehow I did feel like something happened. Uh, it took three months for that thing to happen to me, honestly. Like I really felt like something has changed. It really kicks in just three months after that. I mean, the training was for six months, but three months later, I felt like I was a completely new person. Like imagine from a civilian who is irresponsible uh, on her life. And so basically something memang, kami also memang it, it did change me. Like I was different. Like that type of empty now, but I think if you're watching this, my fellow um, squad mate, some you know what I'm talking about, right? It's like they really changed us. They did. They did a really good job, like to do the training completely. And I set my mind to it. I'm willing to do this. I'm going to complete this. I'm going to serve my country. Training suck, like like mentally and physically, actually. Tapi masa hari lapo diri tu, let's talk about hari lapo diri tu. Everything else collapsed. Like my passion, my hobby. I started to think, why did I even do this? Why did I even sign the paper and packed my stuff just to come here? One, I had no choice but to fulfill my parents' desire. And two, I have completed it and it would be a waste if I left. But I wasn't happy. 100% not happy at all. I felt like it was becoming really toxic. I was really... Something was just missing, something was just not there, everything else just gone, like completely. I basically just went in there and reset my mind, my opinion, just with everything. I, I just pressed that button, like, that reset button. Each time when people ask about my career path and when I told them about my experience, they always thought it's, wow, it's super hot and sexy to become a cop. Uh, believe me, it's not. <laughs> 
it's hot because of the weather, yes, but it's not sexy at all. It's just, so stop thinking whatever you're thinking because it's not at all what you think. I was not in that department, you know. It's I was not. It was not. It's just not. Please, guys, stop. 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 Seriously, on the other hand, you're the front line. People come up to you and want you to or hope you could fix their problem or the issue for, for that. I love that, but it's just, it's just not in the way that I hope I could. But yeah, what happened was I tried to talk to uh, the people around me, everyone that I know or I have in my real life. I tried talking and telling them the problem, the issue that I felt, how toxic it was actually. I, I clearly failed and nobody listens and my relationship with them started to leave a huge gap. I felt it. I felt like I was distant from everyone else. It's, I felt like nobody listens and um, that's that's what I felt. I felt like super distant with everyone. I agree to that government job guarantees your future. Like it's confirmed. Confirm already. You don't have to worry about losing the job unless you really screw up. Like the point that you put yourself in jail. You know what I'm saying? Like you really screw up, then you lose the job. Always really uh, listening to me or agree to me. Uh, or in the same page with me because one a government job is the safest career that you could have in your life Chances for you to lose a job is zero Which in everyone's mind why on earth would you want to quit like literally why on earth would you want to quit? It was becoming so toxic imagine you're 26 and you couldn't even decide what you want to do for your life like everyone else has to decide for you which was very Not recommended <laughs> I was so demotivated. I mean, stressing I got so much pressure and fail. I feel like if I stayed longer, it would have led me to a depression. But I've just done something that I was really passionate about. And it was also the ideal time for me to set up my career because I didn't want to feel like it was too late for me to start over or do things that I love. And so 26 was like perfect age. Actually, it was earlier than that, but. or emotionally I it didn't matter to me I need to leave like that's that's what I I need to leave caps lock I need to leave that's what happened I left without telling anyone except for my bosses of course and the superiors because uh, they had to know and the process took uh, some time so. be just one more thing again I repeat kami tak bolos so please don't ask me if I bolos or not because if I bolos I would have been called to, by now because I'm guys I'm doing this this YouTube channel um I would have not been I would not I would not be here guys I just I mean that bolos I'm masa chagailo I'm monti chagailo that's what I did and that's what happened I'm responsible for what I signed up for Nata tak minat buat apa masuk daripada why guys just Stop pretending like we don't know how Eastern culture works. Stop pretending like you're 25 and not married. And you have a kid. Stop asking and wondering what car I drive because I don't have a car and I only drive my scooter. No, I mean ride my scooter because um, one, I don't think I need a car since I live abroad and uh, why would I waste my money to just get a car and park my car without even driving it? Pay monthly. I'm sorry if you hear the noise because oh, someone is painting the wall, fixing the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's how wall fixing sound like. So much good time uh, during the training, especially. They really did a great job on me. Like it really turned me into someone else. Completely, 100%. It's just, I... Like, thanks to PDR Amicus of that. Did I take the gun with me? Dude... Seriously? Have I arrested anyone? Ladies and gentlemen, it was part of my job. And yes, I have. I did arrest 
some people because it was part of my job and I had to do it and that's what I did. We were trained to arrest people, we were trained to be competent in front of other people and to be to stand for the right thing. Just, of course I was made to use off. I did I was just not sitting there and do nothing. I signed the paper and I said to myself, this is what I am going to do. This world is full of crime. How I managed to or I, how I worked it out uh, with the people who were against me. And yes, after I quit, I went back to the hotel that I used to work before I was even a cop. People and even with criminals, you need customer service and good communication skill. Oof. I know people were all against me like yes um people thought i did um, a huge the biggest mistake in my life for quitting um i resigned i am passionate about something and that goes to you guys as well okay like if you're really passionate about something please just go for it and don't think about not necessary and it will kill you from the inside and you don't want i'm not happy doing it it's not going to work out for you guys really like but I've been a disaster if you do things that people force you to do and you actually don't want to do it. I'm piling up my dreams and my this and that and I've been like learning stuff um, that I want to do. I like, got a job as a flight attendant. I was even scared to go and apply uh, for this job because and like not that I was not confident but god the competition was high like there were like thousands of people on that day